Gator, start up the tractor. We're going home. So I don't know what it is about the library, but it seems like my brain just wants to sleep when I get there. Pretty much every time I, you know, it doesn't matter where I sit, could be the desk, those lazy chairs, not like a light. So today I was like, all right, I'm not gonna fall asleep. So I went to the second floor where they have a bunch of like desks and stuff. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna study. But then I just fell asleep at the desk. Had no idea where I was when I woke up. Anyway, I did get some reading done. I have a quote to give and then I'll go do something other for the bit, but read about Newton. So when he was 23, no 22, he just finished his undergrad at Cambridge. The bubonic plague was coming through and he had to quarantine for like two years. He didn't have it, but he had to go and like hide. And so in those two years, quote unquote, he invented the method of fluxions, which is the calculus, discovered the law of universal gravitation and proved experimentally that white light is composed of light of all the colors. All this before he was 25 years of age. Like what the hell? Calculus was, turns out he was 23 when he did that. Like that's nuts. Talk about intimidating. Good lord. All right. See you. No idea what I'm gonna do next, but it'll be something for sure. So ladies and gentlemen, I have finally done it. I've bought in, I've dove in, we got naive set theory. I've been avoiding it for a long time because it's just like, it sets and it's just, it's so annoying. It's just, it's like, what the hell are we doing? But you gotta get it done. So that is what I'm doing, getting it done. And I'm on page seven and I'm very bored, but it's, uh, you know, it's set theory, the basis of all mathematics. As far as I can tell, set theory, what they went to go do is they're like, look, okay, say we have our tools of logic and we have von Neumann or some like hyper genius. What axioms could we give him so that he could rebuild all of mathematics from two stone tablets or something? It's like the, the 10 commandments. It's like, let's minimize the amount of stuff we then need to apply, use our tools of logic and we can get there. And that's kind of set theory. It's like, we have some very fundamental axioms that are like super evident, but apparently not once you get to infinities and it's just like, oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, fine. It's just one of those ones, I, you gotta get through it, but it's just a pain. Most math textbooks are a bit of a pain. This one particularly is a bit of a pain. Cause I don't even know if there's, maybe there's gonna be something cool, but I've already been over a lot of the, like I'm not even, okay, I, okay, there's something called the Schroeder-Bernstein theorem I'm seeing. That might get cool, but I've already seen enough set theory. Like I'm just kind of trying to go over this to make sure I get it. Maybe I should just start with an axiomatic set theory book. Apparently it's a pretty popular book. So you're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to work through it at some point. So might as well start now. Ah, it's just set theory, dude. It's so boring, mm, you know? sets dude got through chapters one and two thus far looking good really nice and short chapters i should be able to get through this in about a week and a half i'd imagine but problem is when you're learning by yourself it's like some things will times will be like a word I i'm just i gotta learn to be less pedantic i'm just gonna skip over some stuff because i'm pretty sure i get most of it and then they'll be like just now in section two there was a something i was confused about and i was staring at it for like half an hour there was not nothing to realize it's just like this sucks I, I won't explain it here but i was going over like what a sentence is and i kind of already got it and then he kind of said it weird and i was reading this one sentence for like half an hour and I should have just should just skipped. I gotta learn to start skipping more. Okay, I, that's gonna be my promise myself tomorrow. I'm gonna skip more. It sounds like not something you should vow to do, but but I'm, I'm gonna start skipping a little bit more because you can just like get halted on the self education journey. So I'll try to learn to come back or something. I don't know. And, and then same time sets, man. It's like what? How cool could it be? The proofs. It's just it's fucking sets. It's like ah, oh, fine. I'll do it. Sets. Oh, you know, I'm gonna punch a hole in the drywall. I'll tell you right now, sets, man. All right, that's gonna be all. I didn't really have any explanations to give. I learned the axiom of choice and he has he goes over the axiom of specification which sounds like the axiom of choice to me close enough specification choice kind of close anyway that's um it's just it's just not that exciting I, I can't really get that hyped up about this i can get hyped up about how boring it is but i, I don't know it's not gonna be that interesting of a presentation it's just sets it's like ugh. all right so that's gonna be all so take it easy i love you godspeed and i'll see you in the next one which is going to be tomorrow yeah.